worries, fears, and insecurities can negatively influence the success of medical treatments. They can contribute to unwanted side effects and even reduce the effectiveness of a medication. Negative expectations arise in many ways, through personal experiences, and also through information from doctors, acquaintances, and the media. Mr. Schmidt received a new medication from his doctor for his back pain. He reads the package leaflet and tells his wife about his concerns. There are so many side effects and warnings listed. Stomach pain, of all things, is quite common. He feels that he doesn't even understand half of it. His wife remembers that their neighbor suffered from nausea for days on this medication. Mr. Schmidt is becoming increasingly skeptical. This influence of negative expectations is referred to as the nocebo effect. This effect is based on processes in certain areas of the brain that are strongly driven by information, our perception, and thus our expectations. This is because our thoughts and feelings have real and measurable effects on the body, brain, and psyche. When we are anxious and fear side effects, certain parts of our brain become more active. For example areas responsible for pain perception. And neurotransmitters that could reduce the pain are released to a lesser extent. Many studies have confirmed that the more experts explain and warn about side effects, the more they occur. This is true for many medications, including cholesterol-inhibiting statins and possible muscle pain, as well as blood pressure-lowering beta blockers and erectile dysfunction. How can you as a patient counteract such negative expectations? You can inform yourself about the nocebo effect and how it works. When considering therapies, make sure you are especially informed about the desired effects and not only about possible side effects. Ask your doctor. What is the medication supposed to do? When can the effect be expected? What can I do if I feel side effects? And ask yourself. What are my expectations? Positive or rather negative? Be aware that the language used in package leaflets can sometimes be quite confusing. A very common side effect means that 9 out of 10, so the vast majority of those treated, tolerate the medication well. Mr. Schmidt obtains information from experts and thus actively counteracts his negative expectations. He talks to his neighbor again and learns that she only felt nauseous on the first day of taking the medication, and that after that, the medication helped her quite well. This newly acquired information helps him to assess the effect and possible side effects of the medication more realistically and to reduce or completely avoid the nocebo effect. He now passes this knowledge on to his wife. And what can healthcare professionals do in their communication to counteract negative expectations? Provide honest and comprehensible information about the diagnosis, treatment, and medication. Explain how it works and why it is the right one. Respond sensitively to uncertainties and questions. Involve patients in the decision. All of this reduces the risk of nocebo effects. In Essen, Hamburg, and Marburg, we are working together to better understand nocebo effects. And we are working on including positive explanations in the package leaflet, because that is where they have been missing up to now. Have you become curious? We have collected important information about negative and positive treatment expectations on our homepage www.treatment-expectation.de